Hello friend! Today I want to show you some really simple and easy Let's Celebrate cards. For this I use the new balloon stencil from Die Cuts and More. I picked up some distress inks and used my Tim Holtz ink blending tool to color the balloons in. When I color the balloons I try to give them more depth and dimension. This is why I make some parts of the balloon darker and other parts of the balloons are brighter. This technique I use for all balloons on the card and this is really quick and easy to do. The color combination I've chosen is like an ombre kind of style. I tried to pick up colors in the same family. As you can see here, I picked up a lilac, I picked up a blue violet and I picked up a darker violet tone. As always, all the colors I've used are listed in the video. I've used a bright grey color to color the balloon strings in. I don't want the strings to have too much attention, this is why I didn't choose black. For the highlight I just used my white pigment ink and pressed the color into the paper. What would a celebrations card be without any glitter? This is why I picked my Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen and coated the balloons totally in with some glitter. Now it's time for the sentiment. Herefore I used my Stamperholic stamping tool because I had three cards to make and just wanted to place the sentiment each time on the same place. And I also wanted to be sure that in case I would mess the sentiment, I could repeat the stamping and fix everything. The sentiment was stamped with some Versamark ink and heat set it with some black embossing powder. Now it's time to put the card together and when the cards are really simple like this, I like to give them some dimension and I glue some fun foam behind my panel. This has also the advantage that in case I would send this card through the mail, the card won't crash. The card is almost finished now, but I always like to give the card some finishing touches. This time I just want to scatter some sequins over the card. Herefore I used the clear sequins and the pretty in pink sequin mix. And to glue them on the card I always like to use my multi matte medium from Ranger because this is a matte drying um, adhesive. The card for today is now finished. I hope you enjoyed my way to use the new balloon stencils from Die Cuts and More.